Um, he's got that riding on him. He can't yeah. get bought by Smash God because, like, you know. Yeah. No, that's that's chilling, dude. That's chilling, dude. Yeah, yeah. My case, he's a. Let's just hope he doesn't lose to some unranked found girl. All right. Hopefully he doesn't lose to Billy. Yeah. That would have been. Oh, I would have. Oh my gosh, my case would have been on it, dude. Imagine me in a diss track. <laughs> yeah. So, Billy Boy, I feel like is actually so good to rhyme with. I feel like it'd be hard because there's so many syllables. Billy Boy, it's three syllables. Yeah, but if you if you pull it off, it's a fun ass word. Yeah, that's fair. And uh, if anyone can pull it off, it's Mike Mikahaze. Mike Mother. That's what the kids Huckin are calling. Hey. Are we allowed to swear? Can we swear? Can I we said It's oh, an right. Indian tribe. Look it up. Poop. <laughs> oh my god. Get that. I'm sorry. Get I'm that sorry, guys. Crud out of here. I'm man. sorry. It's <laughs> gross. Get the H E double hockey sticks out of here. All right. Mike Hayes is a really nice guy. He's really nice. From <laughs> He's the... not gonna be looking nice right now. Or maybe he will be. Maybe he'll win. I'm right just now... so scared. Like, Marth Fox is so scary. <laughs> right, right now when I look at Mike Hayes, like in the person, he looks like a he looks like a stepdad who just isn't really happy at at, at what his uh, at what his stepkid did. Maybe his stepkid is disrespecting his authority, trying to be like, "You're not my oh, real dad." I'm not him. Is that what he's trying to say to Smash God right now? Yeah, he's, he's trying to tell Smash... Smash God's trying to say, you are not my real dad. And Mike Hayes is going to try and say, no, you know, I am. Up throw up there. I'm your dad. Come on, go back to your room, dude. <laughs> get, get, out, get out of this blast zone. This, yeah. is my, this is my living room. Get in your room, kid. I live on this battlefield. All right, wow. That backup is actually a really good option. I wasn't expecting that at all. I, I mean, there's so much stuff he could have done, but... That one just happened to be really smart. I, the, see, the back air with Martha is kind of just to like keep it simple up. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, oh absolutely. What what is the one that sends them away? Tipper back air? Uh yeah, I think it's like the downward hit of Tipper of Tipper back air, like on the on the bottom half. If it's on the top half, I feel like it always sends them up, but it actually is a pretty favorable an favorable angle if you hit them with the bottom. Part. Oh, I see. Oh yeah. man, this is the second fox you've seen missing that up air. Yeah. Oh. I feel like Smash God has things that Zane doesn't have. I, I maybe it's wrong of me to equate them in any way, but they're both MDVA marks, right? Yeah, I, I think that's true. I think a lot of the it's hard to not lump them together. Yeah, a, a decent amount of the tech that they both use, a, a decent amount of the tech that one of them uses, the other uses. Well. Yeah, it sounds like they communicate. But yeah. the thing is, like, I I don't know. I just feel like Smash God is something more solid, and Zane is just this like wild. Man. Yeah, I Do you can get feel that. that. Sense? I feel what you mean. Like a Smash God one, it's just kind of like that's really how good. Smash yeah, he's God, really good. You know? I mean, he almost beat Armada. Yeah. That is not like you don't hear that very often, unless you are uh, Kirby main cereal rabbit. Um, <laughs> oh god. <laughs> then you probably hear that every day of your life. Yeah, probably never, never get over that one. <laughs> Was he seriously just up airing the respawn platform? I think that counts as a taunt to get body. I, I think I think that's taunt to get body. You know what's kind of crazy? What? Also, what the heck was that tipper? Um, there's like there's like 13, 54 people in the chat. Yeah. But you you don't really like you don't really like miss something like that if you're if you're paying attention. Yeah, I feel like uh, I don't know. The chat isn't crazy active. I think compared to a lot of other chats, it's not cancerous. Maybe. Thank you guys for not being cancerous. Oh, let's go. Side B on shield is a that is a classic Ken maneuver. Is it good? No. Does it catch jumps out of shield? Yes, it does. I'm feeling fine. I'm feeling great. Oh, you want to switch out? If you can get James over here. Yeah, let's go. I want to start like. No, that's fair. I feel you. I really want a money match with Duck. Duck would be so. Uh huh. That's it. Oh, that's unfortunate. Man, I hate that feeling when you get shined with a, without a double jump. Yeah. It's just like, why am I down here? <laughs> what the heck? I think it feels especially bad because not like a moment before that happened, Smash God had Mike Hayes on the platform, and he knew Mike Hayes was going to be right at the edge of the platform, right towards the edge of the stage. I, I can forward air him here, and that leads to like down tilt or maybe a maybe a Ken combo, but he missed the forward air, and then he got, he got shined for that. That always feels bad, you know? 
it's so much better to use your FD counter pick when uh, when things are even. Because it always, it always feels like this one's a pretty guaranteed win. It's not actually, or it's not always, but definitely as a Marth, you feel like, all right, I, I got it. Feel like I'm, I'm doing good. But you hate to use it like just to even things up, you know. So Mike Hayes already doing better than Cobalt. You know, I, I talked to Mike Hayes before this tournament. I have a lot of faith in him as a Fox. I feel like yeah. he only gets better every time I watch. Oh yeah. Like he looks very uh, focused. Right and now. it really shows how long of a grind melee is. He like he gets oh, yeah. better like barely, 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 barely. And then he just beats so many people at the end, you know? Yeah. And he always looks more solid. I saw I saw a set of him versus Drug Fox at Olympus. I was just watching YouTube videos, because that's what I do with my life. And he destroyed and I was just like, oh my god, he could stuff my cage, you know? Like, I thought that, I, I didn't know who had it, but like, drug fog. Yeah. Oh! What I wasn't that? expecting what that at all! That? that was great! So, um... Oh. Right, He's a one. chain grab master! Oh, no. So that was weird, he shined out, even though it looked like Smash Guy got the pivot grab. Yeah. There's, uh... What's up with that? There's actually like two types of pivot grabs you can do. Uh, I think some people don't don't know about this, but this is definitely something you see Mitsu King do, or have seen him do in the past. There's the pivot grab you can do where you dash uh, and then you pivot. Yeah, like that. And then there's another one where you just take a step forward. And then turn around. Yeah, you literally just take a step forward and then turn around. All right, that's that. There you go. That was that forward air down tilt. That's so good at getting Fox off stage. Oh, I don't think that was meant to be a That up there was Okay. I, I am going to be seven out, guys. Yeah. Uh, thanks for listening. This is Billy Boy. If, uh, maybe I'll see you guys again for Top 8 or something. Yeah, see you later, man. That would be amazing. <laughs> yeah, we'll, 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 we'll see. I think Top 8, we sort of got to get that to Fendrick. Yeah, but who else? Fendi and who? That's fair. Hi, Hunter. Hey. You guys, welcome Hunter back. With Fendi would be interesting. Yeah, that'd be cool. Just got to watch. Duck Boss a lot. You got to watch what? Duck lost a lot. Wad beat Duck? Yeah. Okay. Reverse 3-0. Alright, alright. Nice. And, uh, nice. Oh, it's, been, it's been crazy. Yeah. And I got to watch a riveting ice climber did <laughs> Wait, what? Joey Krizzle versus Genghis Oh. Uh, do you know who won? Joey Krizzle. Okay. Oh, damn. Uh, to the... To the to the to the streamers to the scoreboard. It is it is one one. It is not two zero. Oh okay. That's good. Yeah. Uh, Smash God just won. Yeah. There we go. Okay. All right. This should be free. Yeah. There we go. Never miss that. Smash that's God. the one you practice alone yeah. in your room. Yeah. That's the one. Every you day. Just, you just knock the fox off and then you. Yeah. You practice. But from what I've noticed, Smash God is so good. He is so good. Yeah. He beat Cobol earlier. Yeah. Rio Cobol. Yeah. Oh, he went for that. It. Yeah. Anyone who uh, anyone who hasn't seen it, check out Smash God's analysis of his own play on YouTube. I think uh, the insight he has about his own play, like the mistakes he makes, things like that, the things that he thinks about to, to correct his mistakes. I think he's really good. I think his mentality in general is really good. But yeah, and he's improved. I think immaculately over the last year. Yeah. Billy Boy was talking about uh, how Mike Hayes has improved. Uh, Smash God as well has definitely improved. Yeah. I, uh, I played Smash God on that play a whole bunch of like a year ago. Uh -huh. And like, he didn't seem to... It, his play has cleaned up so much. Oh yeah. He's, uh... Didn't he beat, like, the Moon in North Dittos or something? I think he has beat the Moon in North Dittos. He's taken Armada the last game last Oh time. yeah, 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 yeah. Like, he's just, people on Reddit, I... There were big arguments on Reddit about if Smash God would have just won if he had it tried been to down air Armada. Crazy. Yeah. But... Something I really like Smash God does with like every character he plays, he does uh, PC drops. Yeah. Yeah, he's really good at them. That's the kind of thing that I don't think I'll ever be like confident enough to do in tournament. It, like, it, it's kind of controls. I, I do them a lot because I think they're pretty easy just because of my control. Yeah, that's, I feel like that's just the kind of thing that, you know, with nerves you might just, you that's might just mess up. That's how I shield dropping. <laughs> yeah. I talked to Mike Hayes about this, and I don't think, uh... Oh, is he? Wait, hold on. Wait, alright, alright, alright. That was really good. Yeah, he covered everything yeah. there. He, 
I mean, he, he, had a, he had a response to everything, I should say. Yeah, his edge guards are immaculate. Yeah, I, I talked to Mike Hayes about this, and I don't think this is really a surprise to many people. I just wanted to make sure. But uh, top players most definitely do use shield drop notches. Oh, yeah. Mike Hayes said that probably everyone in the top 100 does it, so... Oh, he was... Yeah, he could have just ended it there. He was real close. Yeah, he just kind of hesitated. That little bit. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. That is the difference between a top player and like a goal level player. I feel like they don't hesitate. They know what to do, so mm -hmm. they just go in and do it. You can't be hesitant in a game this fast. Yeah, absolutely. My cases, wave shine, like, conversions are, I feel like, are almost low. He gets him like 99% of the time. Yeah. Like, even like reverse ones. Like, you mean at, at, like, against wait, Marth or just in general? Just in general, but like, yeah. he does against Marth all the time too. Oh, he missed that too! He's starting to choke it a little bit. Yeah, that's, uh, that's one of those things that's just kind of a gimme, you know? Like, you right. see a fox in that position as. Ooh. All right, there we go, there we go, there we go. Cut, cut the bad guy. Yeah, I was just gonna say, you, you see a fox in that position as Marth, and you just think, that's it! Like, <laughs> yeah. You're, I, like, he's I want, last stock just dropped. Yeah, I won. That's it. But uh, but he missed that. That's Three unfortunate. Again. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I like. Foxes love this stage, of course. The only other place he might go is go like Yoshi's and try to like keep him in the corner, just push him out. Yeah. Uh, Yoshi's is. Real... Yoshi's is scary for both players. I was about to say, you either get tempered and die at 40, or you get upgraded at 40 and then yeah. 50, like 55 and die. I feel like Yoshi's games, people talk about FD being one-sided. Uh, I feel like Yoshi's games are very often one-sided either. Either the Fox yeah. are, are, are very one-sided as well. Either the Fox just sort of suffocates the Marth, or, or the Marth is just like, you die quick. Like I threw you on it. platform up to up to. Yeah. Yeah. My case's movement is looking really good. I, yeah. It's amazing how some people... Everyone gets the same character. Every Fox player, they have the same Fox. And they're all using Fox. But some of them just look actually faster than they other ones. They just optimize the movements yeah. so much better. Oh, it's just so much better. Like, my case uses shield stops a lot. Yeah. And it, it helps with turnarounds and look like it's so good. Yeah, I've heard. Uh, I heard someone say this, and it's definitely true that one of the things that helps contribute is just the amount that they move. Like, my case doesn't spend too much time standing still. Uh, you know, in 20XX, you can yeah, set up the yeah. you can set up the motion states, or you can set up certain states to be a. Uh, so it'll tell you if you stop moving. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know some people just practice that. Moving, if you're if you're in weight, they try and not be whatever color they have set up for weight. And it helps you just. A lot of people say it just really helps when you keep moving, you do a lot better. Yeah, it helps you just not waste any frames. Yeah, which is important. That's important, yeah. Uh, alright. Weird side B. I don't... <laughs> I don't think that was intentional, of course. That was... A, I think he thought, uh... Oh! That... <laughs> the way he, like, dot, ducked under that, that board smash? Yeah. The way he just, like, ran through it? That was crazy. I thought he was gonna grab. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, oh he missed he the... Missed I think he fast fell too far, is that what that was? He, he held out instead of... Yeah, Or okay. he fast fell, I can't remember how that was okay. exactly right now. Oh, yeah. Good job. Good job. Yeah, uh, this should be, yeah. Oh no! Wow, wow I was wrong. He was wrong too. We Fox wrong. recovery, Mike. Yeah. Oh, good. I kind of like, actually, the way that he's been doing side beyond shield. And this is again. I was about to say, like, that's... That one was way more obvious. Yeah. In general, like whenever Ken side B's on shield, people will always people always criticize him. I know I hear like Tof and Scar criticize yeah, him like, anytime they see it. But Smash got spacing on it has been really good and it just uh Yeah. I feel like it'll just catch the fox if they try and jump out. He's been doing it very safely. Those side B's in your left are always the scariest for a fox. Yeah. For a fox, yeah, when a Marth is doing them, if you get clipped. Yeah, if you, yeah, if you get clipped, you're just it's it's scary as Marth too. Oh yeah, because you can just get crash cancel shined. Yeah. You can get crash cancel shined if they if they're ready for it, if they know, they'll just jump out and hit you with any move, you know? Yeah. They usually shine, but Okay. I like the way that Smash got caught my case going to the top platform there, but he didn't get much off it. Yeah. Power shield! Oh, he went up till Yeah. Okay, this could be a lot. Yep. Sixty percent is a really juicy percent as Marth to uh to be comboing. Fox is at really any percent above like 30 he, when they land on platform. He read that short. Mm -hmm. And that was a great, that was a great way to end the combo. Cool. Mike what? Hayes is in general really good at uh, 
edge canceling on the platforms with his side B. Yep. He missed it the last two times, but I feel like it's actually really hard to cover and, as Marth. And when he goes for shortens of like the, any of the legs, he almost always gets the light. Oh yeah. He's I mean so he's consistent. he made the video on it, didn't he? He made the Oh yeah, the he tutorial made it. Yeah. <laughs> he's he the, made quite a few tutorials. He's actually a really good concept. Oh yeah. I yeah, I like my case in general. Oh. That's what I'm saying. If you do one of the side B's and they're ready for it, you just get shined. Oh, he went to tech it, he tried to arm check. I think tech it or he was trying to do the uh I think some people call it the Sammy Dash. It's the drug fox thing. Oh. It's the new tech where you uh, uh well I don't know if new tech, but if you're at a, a low enough percent, and the percent extends pretty pretty high, and you land on the stage as Marth or Sheik or Falcon or so many characters, uh, if a fox tries to back you back off the stage, you can ASDI down and then fast fall the ledge. It's just like when they shine you off yeah, stage. Yeah, he did that a whole bunch of the time. Yeah, it's I sort of, it could have been the Omsa tech, it could have been that. You know, we, yeah. we, we can't know. Smash got some tech in for being Marth. Actually. Oh yeah. It's sort of neat uh, having technical Marths. You know, I feel like that's not something you hear about very often. Well, Usually you hear about... It used to be the old style where Ted was just like, you read your soul. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where you just cover cover a space really well with your moves, but... I mean, they still do that, but... but now, now we that, have now technical got, marks. There's like tech skill for it. Yeah, like, MTK was really the first kind of just... I'm going to kill you off the same. Oh, yeah. Now we're getting, uh, we're getting like, pivot tippers, we're getting shield stops. We're yeah, getting... Pivot Tipper is one of the most, like, I think it has made so many matchups so much easier. Yeah, I, I think especially for Jigglypuff, but it even... Oh, yeah. I mean, it has its place in this matchup, it has its place against, like, Peach, Marth. Yeah. There's so many uses. In this matchup, I think it's at, like, 45 or 55, you can up throw. If they DI, just don't DI, you can just Pivot Tipper. That's, uh, you can do it as high as, like, I want to say, like, 80, 80 or 90%. Oh I'm going to get it wrong, but... At 55%, uh, at like 50, 50 through 60, somewhere around there, uh, you don't even have- oh, That was so slick! That wave land. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that was just like so fast and good. Um, at, at the mid percents like that, 55 through 60, you often don't even need to pivot. You can maybe just take like a small step forward in your walk, you know? Yeah. If they, if they it neutral might be the if they like DI out, you can sometimes catch them. Yeah. I'm not sure, but... I'm sorry for yelling there, but that- Oh no, it's good. Oh my god, that wave land on grab? Ooh, that was, was so fast! <laughs> He went for the no tag. Uh huh. Oh, the windmill. I. This windmill bothers me. I feel like Marth never. He never gets to take advantage of the windmill. <laughs> he doesn't get these sick combos on windmill. Yeah. And then Fox. If Fox is getting like up aired by Marth, oh. he just texts on the windmill. And this guy's so fast, it doesn't matter. I don't know. Smash Guard's up smash quite a few times trying to get to him. Yeah. Like, uncharacteristic. Yeah, he's, um. I'd say there have been maybe some shaky things that he's done this set. Uh, overall, he's looking really strong. It, it looks like he just knows what to do with his box, you know? Ooh! Ooh he caught him. That was so Flicker. tricky as my case. That's that's definitely, that is a dastardly trick right there. Because everyone thinks you're just gonna, you're just gonna uh, wave dash back, grab the edge. My case, wave dash off, fast fell, double jump back here to uh... I love that. Wave yeah. dash off back here. Yeah. So good. Oh, it's, it's great. Back throw, that was interesting. Uh, Ooh, we I I wonder if that was intentional or not. He tried to fall too fair. Yeah. It's neat to see how Smash God is playing around Mike Hayes' uh, shield drops. I feel like Mike, like right there, Mike Hayes is really good at shield dropping, and you can't just. Uh... Yeah. Oh, maybe he was trying to take it. Maybe that was. Maybe he was trying to take it. Or maybe it's just that this is the percent where you can't do it anymore. That was a really weak back here. I didn't expect that. Uh, he made it back. Yeah. And I think he did a, a wave land on up tilt there. Ooh, that's so good. Ooh. This is big. This is an opportunity. He misses it. Uh, oh, single hit. Yeah. I feel like that down air was intentional. I feel like he meant to do that. I think he meant to try to cover something and just lift. Yeah, if, 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 uh, if a fox, for example, misses a tech or they tech in place, oh, yeah. down air like, spikes them on the ground. And you can get tippers out. Like, yeah. Oh, this is... Ooh, the lift so there makes it so good. hard. And my case is getting up air after up air. Oh, that so air you can Smash God to get anything out of this. That air was really late. Yeah. You see when my case was on the platform there, Smash God was like hesitant to up air him. And he actually ended up not doing it. I think it's because he's sort of he's respecting uh my case's his shield drops. Because he probably thought, you know, if I up air him and it doesn't like shield poke or it doesn't actually hit him, that's the set. And that might be the set there. Yeah, that's it. Smash God had a lot of flubs. Yeah. Uh just Smashing That's fair, yeah. I can't get over that wave line on grab. 
it, it really feels like he just wavelands faster than I'm used to. That's okay. Oh, that's fine. I don't care. All right.